All right, so I have x to the power of x is equal to 2 to the power of 2x. So to solve this problem, first off, if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is simply equal to a to the power of m to the power of n, or also equal to a to the power of n to the power of n. So in this case, I have 2 to the power of 2x, and I'm going to rewrite that as 2 to the power of x to the power of 2. Now, if I divide both sides by 2 to the power of x, I get x to the power of x over 2 to the power of x is equal to 2 to the power of x, because 2x squared divided by 2 to the power of x is just 2 to the power of x. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m over a to the power of, or sorry, over b to the power of m, this is equal to a over b to the power of m. So x to the power of x over 2 to the power of x, that's going to be equal to x over 2 to the power of x, which is equal to 2 to the power of x. Now, I'm going to take the power of 1 over x on both sides. So now I have x over 2 to the power of x to the power of 1 over x is equal to 2 to the power of x to the power of 1 over x. Now x and 1 over x cancel out on both sides. So now I'm going to be left with x over 2 is equal to 2. Now to solve this, all I have to do is simply multiply both sides by 2. And I'll be left with x is equal to 2 times 2, which is 4. Now, I actually have a second method of solving this problem. So I have x to the power of x is equal to 2 to the power of 2x. So what I'm going to do this time is take the log on both sides. So I have lo log x to the power of x is equal to log 2 to the power of 2x. Now, if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can actually move this x1 and b to the front. So this would equal b times log a. So x to the power, log of x to the power of x, I can move x to the front, and log 2 to the power of 2x, move 2x to the front. So now I have x times log x is equal to 2x times log 2. Oh, sorry, and I'm actually going to move this back up. We didn't need to move that. So I have x times log x is equal to x times log 2 to the power of 2 is 4. Now, if I divide both sides by x, these two cancel out, and I'll be left with log x is equal to log 4. And if these two log cancels out, I get x is equal to 4. So that is my second method. All right, so in this problem, I have 3 to the power of x is equal to 30. So to solve this problem, I'm going to first start by dividing both sides by 3. So now I have 3 to the power of x over 3 is equal to 30 divided by 3. So this implies to 3 to the power of x over 3 is equal to 30 divided by 3. That's equal to 10. Now, if you guys already didn't know, if I have something in the form a to the power of m over a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m minus n. So 3 to the power of x over 3, well, 3 is the same thing as 3 to the power of 1. So I have 3 to the power of x over 3 to the power of 1 is equal to 10, and this simplifies to 3 to the power of x minus 1 is equal to 10. So now to solve this, I'm going to take the, the log on both sides. So now I have log 3 to the power of x minus 1 is equal to log 10. Now, an important property of logarithms is that if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can actually move this x1 and b to the front of the logarithm. So this is going to equal b times log a. So in this case, I have log 3 to the power of x minus 1, and we can think of a here, or sorry, 3 here as a, and x minus 1 as b. 
So if I can move B to the front here, then so, I, so can I over here. So now I'm gonna have X minus one times log three is equal to log 10. So now to continue solving this, log 10, that's the same thing as one. So now I have X minus one times log three is equal to one. Now, if I divide both sides by log three, I get X minus one is equal to one over log three. So now if I add one on both sides, just to cancel out and I'll be left with X is equal to one over log three plus one. So now to find the exact value, log three, I can plug this into a calculator, log three, that's equal to 0 0.4771. So I have one over 0 0.4771 plus one. So now one over log three, or one over 0 0.4771, that's gonna be Two point zero nine five nine. So I have this plus one. So my final answer is three point zero nine five nine. So this is my answer. All right. So in this problem, I have eight to the power of x plus nine is equal to nine to the power of x plus eight. So I'm gonna first rewrite eight as two to the power of three. So now I have two to the power of three to the power of x plus nine is equal to nine. I'm gonna rewrite as three to the power of two. So three to the power of two to the power of x plus eight. Now, this is the same thing as two to the power of three x plus 27. I simply multiplied three with x plus nine is equal, I'm gonna do the same thing with two and x plus eight, so two x plus 16. Now, if I take the log on both sides, I have log two to the power of three x plus 27 is equal to log three to the power of two x plus 16. Now, I can go ahead and move this to the front, same with this one, so I get three x plus 27 times log two is equal to two x plus 16 times log three. So now if I distribute, I get three x times log two plus 27 times log two is equal to two x times log three plus 16 times log three. Now I'm gonna move this over here and this over here. So now I have three X times log two minus two X times log three is equal to 16 log three minus 27 log two. Now if I factor out X from here, I get X times three log two minus 2 log 3 is equal to 16 times log 3 minus 27 log 2. Now all I have to do is divide this on both sides. These two cancel out. And I have x is equal to 16 log 3 minus 27 log 2 all over 3 log 2 minus 2 log 3. So now this simplifies to x is equal to 16 times 0 0.4771 minus 27 times 0 0.301 over 3 times 0 0.301 minus two times 0 0.4771. And I'm not gonna waste your time simplifying this, but the answer for X ends up being 9.6367. So this is my answer.